Uh, all right, let's uh, move our attentions to weather now uh, because we need it to be good today, and it is uh, because we've got a big uh, toy collection going on for Santa's helpers this evening. So. Uh, this is just a, a nice bonus. Yeah, for, nice. For, for whatever you got going on, obviously. Uh, Frisco Fire Safety Town kicking off here in about 10 minutes or so. Uh, we'll talk more about that coming up in a minute. But uh, yeah, beautiful day today. Stretch of just gorgeous, gorgeous weather we've had over the last several days going back to Saturday. But I mean, Sunday was really kind of the kickoff to the really nice day. Saturday wasn't bad at all, but Sunday was really nice. And then yesterday and today and we're just going to keep it going as we head into tomorrow as well 68 outside at the moment one of the reasons why it's been so nice is that air has been very dry we talk about the dew point sometimes remember it's the true measure of moisture in the air dew points are mostly in the 30s right now and basically the lower the dew point the drier the air and that's some pretty dry air for north texas in fact anything less than 55 makes it feel very pleasant outside so it's not only gives us the cool to chilly mornings the the actual temperature can't drop lower then the dew point. It's impossible for the temperature to drop lower than the dew point. Once the temperature, I'm about to give you a science lesson. Once the temperature drops to the dew point, that's when you can get uh, foggy conditions out there. So the temperature and the dew point drop together. So that's how we get how cold it is. So when you have lows in the 30s, the dew point has to be lower than that. And we have, you know, it's one of those warm summer days and it only drops to, you know, 70 or something like that overnight. Well, that's when the dew point's really, really high as well. And that's just those nasty, gross summer days is when you have those dew points easily above 70 degrees. We're not dealing with anything close to that, and that's nice news. And that's why we've had the chilly mornings followed by the very, very pleasant afternoons. Tomorrow morning, that's why also we're going to have those temperatures in the 30s yet again. Above freezing for most of you. But a cold to chilly start yet again. Most of you in the upper 30s, maybe a few low 40s here or there. Either way, it's pretty close to normal for this time of the year. And then tomorrow afternoon, a pretty seasonable afternoon as well. Low to mid 60s for most places, and that should come with plenty of sunshine to go around. Clear skies outside at the moment, and we'll have the clear skies overnight tonight, and that'll help that temperature fall. When we have a blanket of clouds overnight, that kind of acts like a blanket and keeps the temperature from falling. But we'll have clear skies tonight, and that'll lead to those chilly temperatures by tomorrow morning. May have a few clouds around during the afternoon tomorrow, but not much. Mostly sunny skies. A few more clouds will be around during the day on Thursday, especially across the eastern half of North Texas. But nothing happens on Thursday. Nothing happens on Friday. But Saturdays when we changes arrive, cold front moves into the area. Some showers may be out there to start the day across eastern North Texas, but those will kind of quickly move off to the east. Your thunderstorm threat will be kind of along and ahead of that front. You can see at noon that front's already through most of North Texas. It'll take the uh, thunderstorms along with it. There might be kind of some lingering showers that happen later in the day across kind of the eastern half of North Texas, but that's not a severe threat. That's just a little bit of rain behind the cold front. The severe threat will be out ahead of that cold front and by the afternoon and evening hours, it's way out of North Texas and more across kind of Louisiana down into Mississippi and maybe even a southeast Texas as well. Sunday will be dry behind that cold front and a little cooler. So that's where I was saying that severe weather threat. It's East Texas. It's Louisiana. It's Arkansas, maybe even extending a little farther east than that on Saturday. Maybe just our far eastern areas could see a strong to severe storm uh, Saturday morning, but the speed of this front, at least according to the computer models, continues to speed up. So we'll be watching that closely. But right now, I think the majority of North Texas will kind of dodge any sort of severe weather threat. But still several days out. We'll keep an eye on it. Light winds and chilly. 39 will be your low tonight. And then tomorrow, dry and seasonable. 64 for your high. And we warm up after that. We hit 70 on Thursday, 75 on Friday. That cold front moves through as we talked about this weekend. Saturday may be one of those days where your high happens kind of morning to midday with falling temperatures the rest of the day. Uh, Sunday's definitely cooler, a high of 55, back into the 60s Monday and Tuesday of that next week. And then most of that following week is spent in the 50s after that. And there could be a little more rain around uh, by the middle part of that following week as well. And you saw multiple Santa's Helpers events on that 14-day uh, forecast. We got another one in McKinney later this week. We got Arlington, uh, Fort Worth, and Dallas next week. But the big event kicks off right now, or the uh, first event, I guess, kicks off this evening at uh, Frisco Fire Safety.